Hi, this is Jennifer Donovan with 5minutesforbooks.com. I'm here to review Laura Kaczynski's The Raising. Now this is a disturbing book. It's a sci-fi thriller, um, romance, coming of age genre. It's compelling and intense, but it's also fairly disturbing on several levels. Uh, the plot basically looks at a college golden sorority girl, Nicole Warner. She's killed in a car accident, which is driven by her slightly obsessive boyfriend, Craig. And the facts don't really seem to match up. University employee Shelley Locke is first on the scene, but what she saw differs from what all the newspapers have reported. She doesn't even think that Nicole was dead when she left the scene, although they're reporting a bloodbath. But why don't the police want to talk to her? Returning to school the next year is difficult for Craig. He thinks he sees Nicole everywhere. His roommate Perry, who's also a high school friend of Nicole's, agrees that things don't seem quite right. He wants to explore what he's been seeing and thinking and feeling, and so he signs up for a seminar on death taught by a professor, Dr. Mina Polson, who is an anthropologist and uh, sort of an expert on death. And she ends up getting wrapped up in what the boys are convinced is proof that Nicole is not really dead. This novel was a little more graphic than I usually choose to read. It takes place on a college campus and is told from the perspective of several college boys. There wasn't much rock and roll, but apropos to the setting, there was sex and drugs and language and actions taken that often showed the young adult's lack of concern for the consequences of their actions. And all that got a little bit old to me and just, like I said, disturbing. <laughs> and, and then the other drawing issue is simply the subject matter. Um, as the title implies, The Raising talks about um, the undead coming back to life. So not only is this particular situation looked at where you're left to wonder if, if Nicole really is dead or not, um, the Dr. Mila Polson goes into uh, past histories and folklore um, in an academic sort of way. So uh, I really felt like I should have stopped reading it because it's not what I usually like to read, but the fact that I couldn't put it down is a testament to the uh, storytelling. It's 460 pages of uh, thrilling questions that uh, will be answered. So I can recommend it if uh, you don't mind the elements that I mentioned. Enjoy.